Hello, Mark. To another episode of Dig Small Engines. Now, in this episode, we're going to have a little look at removal of this starter clutch here off of this three horsepower Bridge and Stratton engine. It's off a, a tiller, an old soul Briggs tiller. And we're going to have a little butchers. That's how I'll go about that. Right, so here's the star clutch here, which sits on this horizontal crank of the three horsepower Briggs off of the tiller. If you turn this piece here in the opposite way in which your flywheel would turn, which is that way to the right when the engine um, firing over, turning over. You can hear, I'm not sure if you can hear or can hear it, there's about five or six ball bearings which sit in this housing, which if they turn the opposite way, you can, you can hear them moving freely. They're not sitting in the recess and, and seated correctly in the uh, start of clutch housing. If now we turn, here you can hear now and you can feel we've got compression there as I put me from over the spark plug hole those ball bearings have then sat in there and they're seated correctly in the recessed area in this um, star clutch housing now to remove the star clutch I, I have seen these I describe them as brackets which sit as the engine sits here on the bench and you've got some vertical slats if you like what lock the fins in place on the flywheel i haven't got one of them but what i have got is some pull cord which i will put down i've ruined the spark plug down the cylinder head let's drop that down a bit away from the top dead center now if we there we go get the pull cord down the, the head that will lock the floor wheel in place and I have picked up which I've used I think once before recently off of my mates that's a JAPG spares I'm only bad the link will be up somewhere here now there's a part number TL010 or C1015 is this This is a designated star clutch removal tool for these old school Briggs horizontal shaft engines. All we want to do, the narrow grooves here, will lock on to one, two, there. That's in place. I think this is 22 mil. We've got 22 mil here anyway. All we want to do it is a, I don't think it's a left hand thread now, it isn't. So, lock that in place. Hold our engine down with our left hand. And simple as that, I felt that crack. Our starter clutch. Is removed off of this horizontal crank there. Easy as that. When you got the right tools, it makes life out of a lot easier. So now we want to remove this top cap 
here off of the start clutch. I've wound it back onto the thread of the horizontal crank because we're going to get a little flathead screwdriver in this case a little carb adjusting flathead and we want to gently with a little hammer pry this top cap off of the start clutch this is free enough uh, I've also put a magnetic tray under the, the units because like I say there's five or six ball bearings in there so, so the lower clue is they're going to drop out so I've got a magnetic tray to catch the little buggers Gently work your way around. There we are. She's off. So we remove. Here they come. Two. And three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Six, six ball bearings. There's your clutch itself. Doesn't appear to be a great deal of wear on it. Looks pretty decent. As you can see, Lord, I just want to bring you in riding off of the cradle and uh, have a look at this start clutch as you can see these little recessed areas there 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 are where the ball bearings are housed you can see the sediment what we're looking to remove and uh, recease our ball bearings on this star clutch. out as best as I can. The clutch itself I have noticed on further inspection there is a few bits of wear on the clutch it's just where it's caught over the years here but it's one of two start clutches that I've got of two different units and I know it works so for now we're going to keep it as I crack on with this Chiller Cadet to service of the start clutch as I say but I have picked up on a bit of slight bit of wear but it still works anyway we're gonna like I say I've cleaned it out as best as I can ball bearings have had a bit of a once over touch of Lube on the uh, spindle. That was too liberal, but there we go. Let's work that in. Now, let's get these ball bearings in log so they have a bit of a. This is going to be, can be a bit. Fiddly. Hopefully, let's get them in there. Just in case they start dropping out. These want to be sitting in those recessed areas that I 
mention one. Two. Just hold the this without any of them falling out. Three. Now I can mention this is why I've got this magnetic tray in case we suffer any casualties in terms of ball bearings dropping out. What's that? Four. Five. Last one. Six. Beautiful. All six in. Now finally. Our cap. Should just that's perfect. Might want a bit of a got a slice. Bit of timber, I don't wanna uh, you don't wanna be leveling it. There's my hammer. That's it. Let's see if we've got them all in. That's got it. That timber there is protecting the saw because you don't wanna lever it. That's gone on. Now it's a uh, free lead to the left, as I say, where the ball bearings aren't the opposite way to in which your floor will really be turning over when cranking your engine. Now, as we turn to the road, the way the floor wheel would, as if your engine was running. We've jammed up because I've still got the pull. Start a rope down the head, and that's moving as it should. So, there you have it Briggs horizontal shaft, starter clutch, service. How I remove the starter clutches. We've said part invaluable they are, make life a lot easier. Instead of hanging off them with grips or mole grips or pump pliers. And it's back serviced and we continue with this ongoing works on these uh chiller cadets engine or engines I've got so until the next one take care turn off and now